No, I am not shitting you. If people could see the world for what it truly is, see their lives for what they truly are without dreams or illusions, I don't believe they could offer the first reason why they should not elect to die as soon as possible. I don't believe in God. Can you understand that? Look around you, man. Can't you see? The clamor and din of those in torment has to be the sound most pleasing to his ear. And I loathe these discussions. The argument of the village atheist whose single passion is to revile endlessly that which he denies the existence of in the first place. Your fellowship is a fellowship of pain and nothing more. And if that pain were collective instead of merely reiterative, the sheer weight of it would drag the world from the walls of the universe and send it crashing and burning down through whatever night it might yet be capable of engendering until it was not even ash and brotherhood, justice, <laughs> eternal life. Good God, man, show me a religion that prepares one for nothingness, for death. That's a church I might enter. Yours prepares one only for more life, for dreams, illusions, lies. Banish the fear of death from men's hearts, they wouldn't live a day. Who would want this nightmare but for fear of the next? The shadow of the ax hangs over every joy. Every road ends in death, every friendship, every love. Torment, loss, betrayal, pain, suffering, age, indignity, hideous, lingering illness. And all of it with a single conclusion. For you, and everyone, and everything you have ever chosen to care for. That is the true brotherhood, the true fellowship, and everybody is a member for life. You tell me that my brother is my salvation, my salvation. Well, then, damn him. Damn him in every shape and guise and form. Do I see myself in him? Yes, I do. And what I see sickens me. Can you understand me? Can you understand me? I'm sorry. How long have you felt like this? All my life. Is that true? It's worse than that. I don't see what could be worse than that. Rage is really only for the good days. The truth is there's little of that left. The truth is that the forms I see have been slowly emptied out. They no longer have any content. There's shapes only, a train, a wall, a world, a man, a thing, dangling in senseless articulation in a howling void, no meaning to its life. Why would I seek out the company of such a thing? Why? Damn. So you see what it is you say? 